This week, I had the chance to sit down with Shamaria Rice, the mother of Tamir Rice, to talk about George Floyd, her son's legacy, and more. We did the interview at Cadell Rec Center, where her son was shot and killed by a Cleveland police officer six and a half years ago. So how are you? How is Samaria Rice? I'm doing well as I can be. Yeah. It's a lot of stress and uh, I'm very overwhelmed. I really just want to get a conviction for my son. I think when we first talked about doing this interview, I think you even suggested yeah. we do it here at, mm -hmm. at Cadell. Why, why, why is it important for you? Why was it important for you to do this here in yeah. particular? To let people know that I'm still around and um, this place is sacred and I want people to respect it and um, just come and reflect and try to connect with Tamir and his sister. Um, I, I love coming over here for the most part. It's just that I'm, you know, I want people to know that I'm still here, I'm still around. Um, and you're working hard. I'm working hard. Yeah. Yes, I'm working <laughs> diligently and very hard to um, uh, make sure we have a, a safe space. Today marks one year since George Floyd was killed in Minneapolis. Yeah. Yeah. On, on this day, what goes through your mind? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I was out of town um, vacationing visit my uncle in San Antonio. He came downstairs and he showed me this video. I almost fell out my seat because what I experienced was mental abuse that uh, America has allowed to keep um, happening to black and brown people over the centuries. And um, to see George Floyd and Derek Chauvin and his neck his knee on his neck and his hands in his pocket and a smirk on his, on his face, I'm happy that the state of Minnesota convicted him. That's, I, feel, I feel happy and relieved that at least this officer um, will go to jail. June 25th would have been Samir's 19th birthday. Coming up soon. Yeah. What do you think a 19-year-old Tamir Rice, your son, would have been like? He would have been delightful. Let me just tell you that he he was such a pleasant to be around, uh, brighten up the room with his smile. He he loved to make people laugh. Um, just really like uh, the person that kept our family laughing and, you know, sticking together and things like that. I cannot imagine how much you miss him. Yeah, I do. I, I really do. I just... It's a lot to deal with, you know. Uh, America has taken uh, away from me of uh, what my son would look like as a teenager and a young man and even an old man. I don't know what my son gonna never look like. I only got the vision of him being 12. So that's a lot of pain that I deal with on a daily basis as I see other children growing other little boys playing and kids playing. It's, it's hard sometimes. It's, it's very hard. And you can see more of our interview with Samaria Rice at WKYC.com.